Hello. Um, yeah, I'm laying in bed. I'm under a blanket, but, uh, I still have my... Those of you who follow me on Facebook or are a part of the Facebook group know that I was in the hospital last night. I got taken by ambulance. I have, I still have my bracelet on. I still have my, this, my thing from the, uh, IV they had in me. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead. I said I was going to make a video, so I'm going to go ahead and make one about what happened to me yesterday. So basically I passed out. Like I literally passed out. Um, I have never actually passed out in my entire life. Like, never. Ever, 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 ever. Like, just, it's never happened to me. I've always felt like I was going to pass out, had the dizzy spells, had the off-balance feeling, all that stuff, but I've never actually passed out. So, last night, or yesterday evening, whatever, it was probably about 9 o'clock at night, I, uh, I went... I was just here. Oh, I haven't been having anxiety. Y'all, if y'all have been keeping up with my videos, I haven't really been having anxiety. I've been having my little bouts with, uh, like little panic attacks and stuff here and there. <clears throat> Dealing with, like, stress, you know, and stuff like that, which is understandable for everything that I'm going through at the moment. But, um, I haven't really been feeling, like, anxiety or crazy stuff, you know, so, I, sorry, I love this blanket, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, basically what happened was, I've been, I had been feeling weak all day, but, of course, you attribute it to the anxiety, because, you know, you get that really weak, scary, where you're real tired, I don't know where, thing going on when you have anxiety, so I figured it was my anxiety, um, I ended up, uh, and I still don't know, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, I really don't know, all I know is, um, uh, my sister was gonna do my hair, cause I have, like, crazy roots and just stuff's going on with my hair, so she was gonna sit me down and do her, do my hair for me, so I sat down in the chair, and, uh, she started splitting, you know how they, they separate the hair and they put it in the little clips, you know, cause she was gonna do the the roots or whatever first, or do one section at a time, whatever, and, uh, she sat down, I mean, I sat down, and I was sitting there, and I remember feeling real tired, real weak and tired, and not knowing exactly, I was just like, okay, I'm gonna get through this, I basically felt like I was just gonna push myself to get through the hair dyeing process, and everything was gonna be fine. I will say this, a few minutes before I sat down, I had already started feeling real, like, out of it. Like, I was feeling the real extreme fatigue, and then I started feeling, like, disoriented, but, like, real bad. Like, like, as if, uh, I didn't remember anything that was going on. I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't know who was around me. I mean, stuff like that. Like, it was really bad. Then, all of a sudden... I felt really nauseated, like, real bad. Like, it wasn't that, like, you know, when you have anxiety, you feel that nausea come on. Or, like, sometimes I've even had where I have, like, the nonstop nausea, but it's, like, a mild nausea for, like, days. It wasn't like that. This was, like, a... I was feeling fine, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I felt like I was about to literally just vomit everywhere. Like, bad. Like, it was just really, really bad nausea. <laughs> So I decided to go ahead, uh, of course, I got up off the chair because I was like, damn, I'm going to have to go run to the bathroom to throw up. So um, I went, I got up from the chair and my sister was like right behind me, you know, uh, from behind the chair. I got up and all of a sudden, like I started feeling like weird, like I was going to pass out. And I remember seeing everything just fading and all the lights feeling like it wasn't like the super bright light thing, you know, that we usually get. It was like, how do I explain it? It was like, uh, like speckles of light and dark in my eyesight. I don't even know how to explain it. And all of a sudden, all I remember, 
all I remember is that I grabbed my sister's arm really tight because I felt, I told her, I said, I feel like I'm going to pass out. That's all I remember. Next thing I know, um, I, I'm coming to, I'm barely trying to open my eyes and I see, like what you see in movies, it's crazy. I see paramedics all around me and my sister on the floor beside me, like sitting there. And I was like, what the hell's going on, you know? And uh, it took me a while to actually come completely out of it. I was out of it for, like, uh, a while. And apparently, from what my sister told me, she said that I just passed out. That I just laid out. I passed out with my eyes wide open and everything. Just passed out on the ground. And that, um, that I was there for a minute passed out and then when I until I started coming to anyway um I know whenever I woke up when I was coming to I started like becoming a little bit more coherent and I was trying to tell Becky or that's my sister by the way um and the paramedics how I had been feeling what I, what was going on my my left side my left arm was a little tingly I had uh um I broke out in a cold sweat I was, like, when I was coming to, like, when I actually was trying to wake up out of what happened, um, I was sweating horribly. Like, you could, like, run your fingers, like, on my neck and stuff, and you would, you would get, like, a pile of sweat on your fingers. Like, it was horrible. I don't know what happened there. And then I was a little shaky, of course, but I think everything afterward that started happening to me was anxiety because, I mean, because I passed out. I was freaking out, you know? And they check my blood sugar, because my blood sugar drops occasionally, you know, all that stuff. But anyway, they ended up taking me to the hospital. Went to the hospital, they gave me a CT scan, they gave me, uh, they gave me a brain scan, they gave, they checked me for blood clots, they checked me for, like, everything. They checked me for aneurysms, they checked me, um, they just checked me, they checked my blood, they took my blood twice, um... The one thing that kept happening is that my blood pressure was super low. It was like, it kept on coming up like, like 86 over 54, you know, or like one reading came out to be like 67 over 50 or something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh. So basically my blood pressure was like super low. And what they told me is they think that my blood pressure dropped because of something called the, the something sciosis. I don't know what it was called, but they said that um, my blood pressure dropped and that um, that's why I passed out, basically. And uh, they told me everything was fine. After all the testing and everything, they told me I was perfectly healthy, of course. And even I wasn't dehydrated. I wasn't um, that my ane I didn't have anemia, um, nothing like that. That I was perfectly fine. They think that it was one of those. They said that a lot of times that people will have like fainting spells, like what I went through, um, like one time in their life. And it honestly, they said like ninety eight percent of the time, it's nothing. It's just that they had like this thing happen to them, and so uh, and it's like a one time thing, you know. They basically told me I was healthy and that I have nothing to worry about. Of course, to keep my eyes and ears open for stuff, but I do have, like, a little minor infection. So they did give me an antibiotic to take, which I normally do not take medication at all, even antibiotics. But I decided to go ahead and take it this one time, and uh, I'm going to see how I feel. But, uh, so, yeah, I... Uh, I had an experience, and my blood pressure is still kind of low, but it's always been on the low side. Like, my typical blood pressure readings are usually, like, one, like, a hundred over 70 or something, like, on average. So, like, uh, the thing is, they were, like, way lower, you know, at the hospital. They even gave me fluids through my, through an IV, trying to make my blood pressure come up a little bit. But when I left the hospital, it was, like, 96 over... 74 or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But, so yeah. So basically they just checked me out and uh, told me I was fine. And in my head I thought I had to eat salt. So I, um, I ended up uh, eating a little bit of chips 
and because uh, I eat healthy like most of the time. As a matter matter of fact, I've uh, I'm like vegetarian and stuff. So like I went ahead, but I went ahead and ate like, but I'm a healthy vegetarian. So I went ahead and ate uh, some chips, some unhealthy chips. Uh, but I ate some chips and stuff, some fries. I even went to uh, Whataburger and ate me some fries and stuff too. And trying to get my blood pressure a little bit higher, you know. But, and I feel okay today. I'm I'm just really tired. And of course I'm going to have, I'm going to be afraid that it's going to happen again. And I'm going to be, um, I, for the next couple of days, I, I, I know that I'm going to be like, kind of freaking out and scared to get up and walk around. I already know this is going to happen to me. It's part of having the brain that we do, the kind of brain that we do. But, um, so yeah, I, I already know this is going to happen. I'm expecting it, but I'm going to lay here. I'm going to try to sleep as much as I can, if I can. And I'm just going to, like, read my books and stuff and uh, try to be positive. At least for today, I'm probably not going to be doing much other than being here in bed and uh, taking my antibiotics, eating and reading. That's what I'm going to do today. That's my plan. But it was really scary. My whole ex that whole experience was very freaking scary. I honestly thought, I will say this, on a positive note, something that kind of happened because of this. The passing out thing, I guess in a way... Now I'm not really scared to pass out. This is the very first time I've ever, ever in my entire life passed out. So, but it wasn't... How do I explain it? It was peaceful. That might sound really weird to you guys. Um, it was actually peaceful. Like, I felt... It was just peaceful. Like, that. I had no... I didn't even know what had happened, like, when I was coming to. I forgot that I had passed out. I forgot that I was feeling sick. I was feeling really peaceful, as if I had been laying there, like, dozing off for a nap. So, um, now that I've experienced this, I honestly do not fear fainting. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't fear, fear the fainting thing anymore. And this might sound weird, too. But, uh, I feel like my breathing got a whole lot better. I don't know. Um, it's like I got reboosted or something. I really don't know. But I know that it was scary. I will say that. It was very scary because I was, I passed out. You know, I, I literally just fell out. Eyes wide open the entire time and everything. So, like, that, that I'm, yeah, I freaked my sister out. And my 15-year-old daughter was there in the room when it happened, too, so... I felt kind of bad about that, too, but I had no control. That's the other thing. I will say this. The pass out thing. You know how usually we get dizzy? We're like, oh, we're going to pass out. Oh, we're going to pass out. When you feel like that, I promise you're not going to. Because um, what happened to me yesterday, I had zero control. Zero. That's why they tell you that if something really were going to happen, you wouldn't have control over it. You wouldn't be able to be like, oh, okay, oh, I'm not passing out. No. No, I had zero control. Zero. Like, I literally could not try to not pass out. Like, it was not, there was no control over it at all. I, it just happened within, like, seconds. I was, I was out. So, uh, when you, I had no anxiety when it first was happening. I was literally, like, I had no control. And it was, like, something that just happened. And so... I will say this, when you start feeling that anxiety, like you're going to pass out, you're not going to pass out. And it really is just anxiety. I can tell you that matter-of-factly now, because of what, I've exper what I experienced yesterday. But uh, anyway, I will keep you guys updated on what's going on with me. I'm going to start taking my meds today, uh, depending on how much the copay is and all that. I hope I have money for it, but uh, enough We'll see how expensive it is. I don't know. It's supposed to be like an old antibiotic because I talked to the doctor about that. She said it's an old antibiotic. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I hope everybody's doing wonderfully. And I will keep you guys updated. Um, remember, you're not alone. You're not alone. Not at all. 
anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, the paramedics were amazing. The ambulance rider was amazing. The doctors were amazing. Everything was great yesterday. The nurses, perfect. Seriously. So I'm happy about all that, too. But, uh, but anyway, I'm real tired. <laughs> so, but, um, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, remember you're not alone. Bye.